Hello friends. So today we are going to make a multifunctional desk lamp which can be used for gaming setups. For this we are going to use uh, two LEDs which is used for bikes and cars. It is an RGB which comes with a remote. It is the cheapest RGB light you can buy on internet. Next we are going to use a power adapter for mobile charging so that we can charge our mobile as well we don't have to. So this is a 12 volt power adapter which we have used in our earlier projects for RGB gaming mousepad and we have some screws which we are going to use and this is a storage box or container for protein and we are going to make a lamp out of it so let's get started so first we have to cut this container along this line which we have around the stickers you don't have to remove the sticker before cutting so as to protect the scratches which will appear during cutting or during sanding the edges I have made that mistake so that is why I am saying that do not remove this before cutting and this cap will be used as stand and its base will be used as the frame in which that our lamp shade will get fixed and this is a, a piece of pipe which I have removed from paint rollers which we have and it has sponge over it which, has, which gets stuck into the handle and it gets rolled. It has a base plate which can we can paste it on the base help to give it a strength and, and we are also using this wire uh, to fix it to the framework so let's start making it This is the base of that container. I have cut it out triangle shaped pieces from it, which will use as a frame and it get into this. And this is the shape of the lamp which we are going to use. This would be the base, and it will look like a kind of this. So sanded this part as you can see it has an edge over it a raised kind of a strip so I just sanded it down with 250 grit and then after that with the scrotch sprite so it, it has given it a smooth effect next I have cut it a notch for USB uh, socket which we will be using as a mobile charger for our desk and it will help to charge our mobile as well We are also going to use 12 volt adapter to light this LED and we can also use it <coughs> for different lights or on the gaming pad which uh, we have made by just using an DC adapter over here uh, 
currently I don't have a DC adapter but it will be a nice idea to give it a uh, additional functionality so that you can uh, charge or you can connect any other 12 volt appliance or 10 volt light to it you don't have to use an external adapter or wires now let's look at it, the notch in which we are going to fix this you just have to as you can see that the base of that container can be used as a framework to support the upper structure so it kind of look like this After that, we, we can also cover this part so that it gets lightened up. First, we have to do a hole inside this at the center. So, we have to mark the center. So, I have done a hole in the center of it so that we can pass wires through this tube to the LEDs and hole should be just to the edges of this bottom tube which we have so we are going to screw it power roller works now we are going to screw it so this is how it looks I have applied one screw which is enough I guess you can also use two so our stand is ready now we have to fix this frame into this that we have to make some holes in this you can use poker or any other tool but I am going to use this and heat it up and pass through this so I have done some hole to this pipe which we are going to use to fix this frame into this pipe through this wire metal wire the wire so that it doesn't make any disturbance while we are fixing that frame work to this pipe So I have cut some slots so that we can pass through our wire through it and our top should remain flat. We are going to use a hole for this but right now we have to fix it. So I have connected to short pieces of wire which we are going to connect to our LEDs for one LED this is for one LED and this is for one LED so I think we have to widen this now just tape it so, so that it doesn't get short now our wire is fixed 
Now we have to fix this frame over here. Make sure that your light slots is just horizontal to the notch we have cut for the USB cables. So after cutting the notch, we have passed through some metal wires through it, which we are going to use and twist it and make some stable. So our frame is fixed to this base and we don't have to worry about that because our shade will go inside this and we, we can adjust this uh, by just adjusting the level of the frame inside that uh, shade so you don't have to worry about this uneven level of the frame but yeah the base should be more heavier than the shade but right now it is opposite the after applying the shade this is going to be heavier so we have to make this more more heavier than the now we are going to fix these LEDs into the slots which we have cut it before in the frame yes so this is how our LED is going to be looking we just have to fix it inside yes so you have to make sure that the infrared sensor should be in facing towards the slot for the USB so, so that while changing through the remote it will be easier to get access so before making the connections to the LED you have to mark the polarities of the wire So our LEDs are fixed and I have connected through the adapter. So this is how it looks. And you can change the color intensity flickering. So that is why I am choosing these LEDs to create a nice effect. Now so our lamp top. So the top work of a lamp has been done and I have used black tape to avoid scratches while sanding. So this was a mobile adapter. What I have done is I have cut this and removed the circuit and I have marked and cut it a slot as you have seen earlier. So we have to just fix it and connect it to the powers. So I fixed this adapter with the help of super glue. This is the mains power and this is the DC power out. We have to connect this to this. And again we have to make sure the polarity of this should be 
correct so let's just check and we have to make it more heavier with the help of cement we will fill this empty space with the help of white cement 